Hello everyone and welcome to this Copa Supplier Portal video. I will be guiding you through all the steps when it comes to the Supplier Portal. I'm going to conduct the Copa Supply Portal training session today. The purpose of this video is to provide you with an extensive training on Copa functionalities and make sure you have a smooth transition to the new process. So to get things started, you will receive an email from your customer about COPA. Click on the email. You will then see a message containing information and instructions on how to access the COPA supplier portal. With the email invite submitted by a SAG, you can begin the registration and onboarding process by clicking on the Join COPA supplier portal button. Please note that your CSP account is based on a specific email address. If you use an email address different from the one your ASAG has on file for you, you cannot connect with us until creating a CSP account with that email address or merging your CSP account with the one created using that different email address. After clicking on Join and Response option, wait for the page to load up. You will need to provide basic company information. Business name and email will be auto-populated. Business name is editable. You can change it in this stage. Enter first and last name of the company's primary contact person. Enter and confirm your password. This will be used to log in into CSP. Then select country region from the drop down. Enter your tax registration number. However, if you do not have a tax registration number, then tick the checkbox and provide the reason. Tick the checkbox, I accept the privacy policy and terms of use, click on privacy policy and terms of use to access the details. Finally, click on create an account to complete registration and access the COPA supplier portal. You will receive a verification code in your email. Simply enter the verification code and click on Next. Fill out your company primary address information with the correct details. Enter your country region selected from the list. Then, enter your address line 1. And there's an address line 2 if required. Enter your city, add your state, and finally enter your postal code. Then click on Next. Note, all red asterisk fields are mandatory fields. A new page will open and will ask you to fill out your payment information. Enter the payment method and email address you would like to use. Then click on Next. Fill out your bank details. Enter your payment method name. Enter your bank account country or region. Add bank account currency. Then add other optional fields. Click on Next once you are done. So for this part please fill out your correct address with the red asterisk fields next to it. Such as your payment method, street 1, city, state, postal code, then click on next. Once you have completed this setup, then you will be able to access the supplier creation form. Congratulations you are now able to access COPA Supplier Portal. To start off click on the Business Profile tab, then Information Requests under it. Click on the Supplier External Form under Form Responses from your customer. Note, to see notifications, click on the Notifications tab on the top right of your screen. The Supplier Creation Form is now open. Fill out all the required information. Before you begin you must click on I accept the above from the general company information statement. 1. Company name is picked from request form but it's editable for you to update it if required. 2. Select goods or services from drop down list. 3. Select supplier category from drop down. You can upload your company profile by clicking on choose file. Note, all red asterisk fields are mandatory. 
This part is to upload the trade commercial license or certificate of your incorporation. Provide the effective date of license or certificate. Provide certificate expiration date for foreign suppliers where expiry is not applicable. Please enter expiry date as December 31, 2074. Upload your copy of trade license or certificate. Provide description related to trade license if any. After you have completed that section please scroll down to continue. Now, enter the place of issuance of trade commercial license here. Enter trade license company registration number. Now we are going to fill out the office detail as per trade license. Some fields will have already been pre-populated. Select the country or region from the drop-down list. Select region from the drop-down. Please enter your complete address in street address field. Enter the city, then provide your postal code. Scroll down and select the trade zone. This differs when you choose the different options. For this case click on United Arab Emirates. Then a drop-down will appear to select from. Use HTTPS URL in the website field. We are now in the primary contact field. The primary contact information is picked from the request form, but it's editable if you want to make any changes. Now provide primary contact designation. If you wish to enter a secondary contact person, if so, select that contact from the drop-down and a new field will open. Enter their first and last name of your contact. Then please enter their work phone number and mobile number if applicable. Finally, enter their email address, then scroll down to the end of the field. Payment term, 120 days credit is always defaulted as per ESAG's policy. Then select INCO terms in the drop-down list. To begin the steps of bank information, start off by clicking on Add Remit to, to add your banking details. Click on Add Payment Method to add a new one and select Bank Transfer. A new page will be opened to continue with the creation of payment methods. Please refer back to the video clip during COPA Supplier Onboarding titled CSP Onboarding. To use existing payment method, which was created during the CSP profile registration, tick the checkbox next to your bank information. Then click on Add Selected button. Scroll down. And now enter your bank information. Tick the checkbox of I accept. Select Payment Mode Form drop-down. Select Bank Country. And finally select your bank name. After that is complete. Scroll down to the next field and continue entering your bank information as follows. Some fields will already be populated so there is no need to add unless you need to edit them. Then upload the bank document template and fill the information out signed and stamped by authorized signatory. Once that is complete attach it below. For the value added tax and information section. If you click on yes under, is your company VAT registered, then the VAT registration number and tax registration certificate is mandatory. However, if you click on no, then the VAT registration number and tax registration certificate is not required only the last option. Which is the reason for not being VAT registered is mandatory to fill out. Enter your in-country value, ICV, certificate. Enter effective date of certificate. Enter certificate expiry date. Attach a copy of your ICV certificate. Enter the description if any related to ICV certificate. Then scroll down and upload your authorized economic certificate. Now, quality management certificate. Enter effective date of certificate. Enter certificate expiry date. 
Attach your quality management certificate. Enter the description if any related to your quality management certificate. Upload other certificate documents if any. A SAG Supplier Code of Ethics and Supplier Declaration Please download the template below for the Supplier Code of Ethics in case of amendment requests. Then check the box under I accept the attached ESAG Code of Ethics. Attach your Code of Ethics if you do not accept a SAG's Code of Ethics or have any amendments here. Scroll down to the Personal Data Protection Law. Download the template and once it is reviewed check the box under I accept the attached personal data protection law clause. If you reject it, please provide your reason here. Then scroll down to know your supplier. Please download and fill out the relevant templates. Note, please do not edit the part under for ESAG use only. Finally click on submit for approval.